This is Anderson Penn's podcast episode 92 for Tuesday, February 25th, 2014. This is Brian. This is Mrs. Brian. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Anderson like Penn's that. radio network. All right, all right, all right. I'm Lisa. All right. You got, you got me on that I one. I got gotcha. you. Awesome. First, first, first time in a long time you've got me. Well... Give it, uh, give it time. I got lots of stuff up my sleeve that you don't know about. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I just know it's going to cost me money. Uh, yeah, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> so, anyway, ink it up, baby. It is time to do a boatload of stuff tonight. Okay, we're going to do this uh, in relatively short order, right? Uh, oh, yeah. For, first off. Uh, reminder that uh, in, in the middle of uh, tonight's uh, episode, there will be a uh, a pen giveaway. Yes, because um, y'all uh, know I love free stuff, so I like to give free stuff. <laughs> right. Can I win? Uh, I want to win. No, you, you already own this. Oh. Technically. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> All right, then. Surprise. Um, <laughs> this is Prime Minister Lisa. All right. Uh, so anyway, uh, there will be a giveaway this evening for. Should we tell them what they're going to win? Yes. Okay. A new um, car. No. Da, 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 da. Okay. Um, <laughs> Where's Bob Barker when I need him? I, I know, right? Um, <laughs> uh, tonight, the winner will receive a uh, a brand new uh, of their choosing Monteverde. Um, our tea, uh, jewelry, jewelry in the carbon weave finish. Either in the silver finish, whoops, silver finish, or the black carbon fiber finish. There, Wayne, I'll hold that up for you. Ooh, now, the interesting thing is that the options are you can get, and these come on both pens. You can either get the silver nib. Awesome. Or it also comes with a black nib. So you can mix and match. You can get the silver carbon weave with the black nib. You can get the black with the silver nib. You can do stealthy black on black. You can do silver on silver. You can do whatever you want. I'm, I'm dizzy. I would be if I were you. <laughs> All right, so uh, we, will, uh, we will be asking a trivia question later on in the evening. Uh, you must be present to win, of course. Uh, email. Should we give them the email address right away? Yes. Okay, the email address that you will need to fire up in your browser or in your uh, your, uh, your mail client, sales at andersonpens.net. Um, first person with the correct answer uh, to the question will be the winner. So, uh, we will not tell you the, the, the question just yet. Yep. Uh, and. Uh, just for those of you who are thinking of cheating, there is th th this question is, is available nowhere on the internet. Yeah. Um, it exists. In, <laughs> it exists in my brain and my brain only. Don't I know? Uh, I, I think you know. Do you know? I think so. We talked about it last night. Do you remember what the answer is? Not as. Hmm? I have more. <laughs> 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 and it's not how many pens Brian has because you'd be counting mm -hmm. for like the next week. Yeah, I have more pens than you. I'm pretty sure that's pretty safe. But, yes, you do. Uh, so anyway, that's that's all we're going to say about that. Uh, we will. Uh, we it'll will be fun. It. it will be fun. Well, it'll be interesting to see what people think. So, uh, we will we'll bring that question up in, in just a little bit. Yep. Uh, we have we have some cleanup, I guess, from last week. Which uh, last week was we were just coming back from L.A. Well, we like leftovers. Uh, we do like leftovers. Well, I do, especially. Yeah. Um, great for lunch. Couple couple things. Yeah, great for lunch, right? <laughs> or breakfast, depending on what it is. A yep. uh, couple things that uh, we had not yet unpacked because, of course, last week we uh, literally drove home and uh, had dinner and then fired up the podcast. Uh, with, in fact, we had all the stuff in the car. Drove after the podcast, drove to the store and unloaded everything. So there were a couple things that we uh, had picked up in LA that we, we weren't able to show you, and I, I think that they're not worth it. Yeah, yeah, we were excited. So you go ahead first because you're the one that spotted this, and I love you for it. Now, Brian has been talking about this thing that uh, Levenger used to make that they no longer make, and I won't call it whining, but 
he certainly was unhappy that no one made um, this same thing in the same way since then. Well, and so I had well, I had one, and I sold it. And, and I want to say I sold it for like something stupid, like five or ten dollars. It was really dumb. But I had moved on to to other other pen cases, and yep. uh, and and then they don't make this anymore. And it, it, it's really good design. Yeah, it's it's nice. So without further ado, uh, I saw um, at Pete Kirby's table. Uh, actually, I saw it. At, I, I don't know who was sitting at this table, but somebody was he was Peter, Mike Mike Walker or somebody. Now these were Pete's, but oh, um, Pete's, okay. I think they're Pete's. Yeah. So we um, I saw these two. They there were three different colors. There was a really pretty blue that I snagged, and then uh, a dark brown or a black. And I think the black was pebbled. Which neither of us like. So, no, the back. There, no, there wasn't a black. Okay, or a tan or something. There were three colors. There was a light tan. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So I got the blue one. The outside has two pockets, and you can fit uh, index cards in there. And then the inside opens up. Let's see if I can do this without dropping any pens. And it holds four pens, and index cards, which I have loose in there. It almost holds. Uh, I think if I take the index cards out, not that I would, but you could fit your iPhone in there. So that's kind of cool. Well, and, and these were these were years and years. Here's mine. Yeah. Uh, so. Years and years and years before the iPhone is developed. Yeah. So I and love it. I've got uh, my four. I've got four pens in there right now. Um, and then I have all sorts of loose index cards, uh, some with notes, some without notes. But well, you can also... it, was, it was designed for the, those Levenger cards. That they right, make, right. Cards. So that was pretty cool. So uh, Lisa found them, and I said, absolutely, you've got to have them. Um, they, they, were, they were always a nice size. I just The only thing I didn't like about them was, was this, this strap here is adjustable. It's, it's one piece yeah. of leather. I thought it would have been better suited to have, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, a regular elastic. type of elastic strap in there, but uh, it works, uh, and, it, and it's nice to be able to have the cards in there too. So, yeah, yeah, uh, I have not adjusted my straps yet. <laughs> Sounds what? like a personal problem. Oh, that's going to be a clip on somebody else's podcast. Oh my god! Um, it was like uh, who was it? Wayne posted uh, no Google Glass in bed. I'm just co quoted out of context all the time. Yeah. Or maybe it was Ricky, but uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, so we, we snagged those, and we were excited about those, and so that replaced um, a three-pen case that I had in my purse, and so uh, it it's nice to be able to fit. the three-pen case? Which one the was red that? one I had the in my purse. One? Yeah. Well, maybe I'll put both in there, but I'm running out of, or I could put the new hot spot in there. I could put all sorts of see, stuff. See, for me, it didn't replace anything. It just said, oh, now I can add four more pens, because <laughs> actually this, this morning, so I, I'm in a meeting today, right? I'm in all-day training. And uh, um, I'm sitting next to a friend of mine, and she says to me, she says, well, did you bring a, did you bring a pen? Because, uh, you know, they, they give you at the, at the, the conference center, they give you one of those, you know, little note, notepads, right? And I said, well, as a matter of fact, I did. Pen case number one, four pen case number two, four pen case number three. Oh, honey. <laughs> and I had a single pen case number two, but there's no pen in it. That's sad. So, All right. Anyway, the uh, Levenger pen case, real nice, nice case. Yep. Find them. Um, they're worth a look. Yeah, so we we were excited about that. Uh, did I show my Omas last week? I might have. I don't remember. But I would show it again because it's an Omas. So it's yes, so here you go. I picked up an Omas in a really pretty green color. Um, I blame Paul. I think I did mention it because I blamed Paul. He got his first and then I had to buy mine. Love it. Absolutely love it. It's got what? It's got a fine nib in it, a little, little bit of flex, a little Heck soft. yeah. Fine nib, baby. That's my <laughs> thing. That's how I roll. Okay. Uh, 18 carat on that? I believe so. Or is that 14 carat? I can't remember. I don't know. Well, monster are usually. Well, they're mixed. Just 750. Okay, so it's 18 carat. Yep. So that's pretty cool. So. And then, uh, no, show the Omas. <laughs> <laughs> remember, Paul, I blame you. <laughs> And then of course, Brian, of course, Paul blames me for showing him the Omas, so really it's my fault. There you go. We're both good with that, Paul. And, I. <laughs> uh, and what did you get, Mr. Anderson? All right. So the, the, this, I, this I didn't have uh, last week, and and you know I was 
you, you kind of surprised me with this for Valentine's Day, and I, uh, um, yes, the Omos is faceted. Um, yeah, it's you, nice. You kind of surprised me. I had talked about this. I knew it was going to be there. Um, I, um, I, I wasn't hundred percent sure that I wanted to get it because it's you know it, it crosses that threshold of how much I really want to pay for a pen. But you um, didn't pay for it. Why? Well, <laughs> <laughs> Not directly, I no. <laughs> I know you did. Okay, so uh, I wasn't sure. I was just being frugal, right? And Lisa comes up to me. She says, "She does this thing. She does. She goes, what? Do you want a medium nib? <laughs> That's what she says, right? <laughs> do you want a medium nib? Uh, and, and, and I'm like, well, what are you talking about? And she tells me. And she says, okay. So here it is. Um, here it is. new pen. Right here. It's pretty. It's big. It's very big. You can have it. I don't want it. It's way it for me. It's the Delta Dolce Vita Oro, and this is the piston filler. And it doesn't that just shine? Isn't it just? It's so pretty. It's gorgeous. Um, so you it's open gorgeous. it up, and, and the cool thing you'll notice here is with the cap on, you can see the ink window. A little bit of the ink window right there. Um, it has. Uh, Gold-plated sterling trim, verme trim, uh, hallmarked right on the cap band. Um, it's got the roller clip, which is very classic. Uh, and here it is, um, beautiful, beautiful gold nib. Uh, and check this out. This is one of my favorite parts of the Delta piston fillers. When you get all the way to the end, you hear that? It clicks. And that means she's all the way back. So, um, and I, I, it took me about 10 days to ink this guy up. Yeah, what's up with that? Well, I kept, I was sitting on my desk and I kept forgetting. And um, uh, I filled it up with uh, Edelstein Amber. That's a pretty color. Michael and Saul loves that. It's a very, <laughs> very pleasing color combination. Um, and and the, the the first first inclination is you want to say okay well how big is this right um, here it is I'll, I'll give you, I'll tell you how big it is here it is next to a, a, a Mont Blanc 149 it's a big Ben it's almost almost the same size in fact I think posted because the 149 posts a little deep uh, the Oro is uh, is bigger and this is is much bigger than the actual uh, there is a um, um, the cartridge converter version, which is a little bit smaller than this, but this is about the same size as the the, the Dol Dolce Vita oversized. So, yep. lovely, lovely pen. Aziza has a good other option: the uh, Sailor Gentle Apricot. Oh yeah, yeah absolutely yeah. pretty, pretty color. I, I, I had I had amber stuck in my head the moment the moment we got it though, so right. I had to I had to try that out. Now I'm not much of a I, well, I cannot. This is the first time I've had any ink that's been other than. Blue, black, green, or burgundy in, in any of my pens ever. You feeling so. all right? <laughs> so uh, anyway, that's uh, was there. Was there any other leftovers we had from last week? We showed that we showed the skyline. I think uh, we did. We did show them the skylines. Okay. Yep. All right. Uh, so that was last week, and uh, we have something new um, to talk about. This week that you just you just did. I did. You, you don't did. even know. Oh, oh, that, yeah. That. Uh, well, we have a number of things coming up. So um, we've been talking about this here in the store and with local customers. Um, so on Facebook, and I expect all of you to run to Facebook and like it if you well, can find it. If they're local, it makes more sense, right? So. You know, I just like likes. I you know, it makes me feel popular. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, not high school. <laughs> You're right. Uh, we now have an Appleton Pen Club Facebook page. And we are going to have some very, very cool things coming up in the next couple months. And uh, so this way we can um, uh, let the local people know what's coming up in the store. Uh, we've got some trunk shows we're trying to plan and all sorts of fun stuff. Yeah, so this, this, this will help it uh, 
be a little easier for um, local people to uh, to sign up, and it, it gives us a, a better idea too of, of the local people that are interested. Because right. if we go just go by our, our regular Facebook pages, uh, I don't know how many of those people are in Appleton or not. So, right. um, uh, Appleton Pen Club is its own separate entity, and uh, uh, yeah. if you're local, that's great. If uh, uh, we have a couple honorary members as well, so. But, uh, we look forward to having uh, our first. When, well, when are we going to have our first meeting? Soon, after after Long, Long Island. Island. After yep. Long Island, sometime. Um, yeah, I mean, we we accept anybody, <laughs> Paul. Uh, anybody <laughs> wants to come? Yeah, absolutely. Um, yep. We're we're shooting for meetings once a month, but uh, realistically, they're probably not going to happen. So. Um, uh, yeah. Just, well, we'll see. So we'll see. We're going to be home for a couple months in between mm -hmm. shows. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Uh, I guess I guess show news we, we should mention. Uh, you have some news about uh, Boston. Yeah, I spoke with uh, Rob Morrison this week, and he said that there is not going to be a Boston show this spring. Uh, it was in June last year. I said there's no way that that's going to happen for sure. Uh, and then um, he might try and do something later in the year, but... I'm not sure that that's going to work because there are so many other shows later in the year. Yeah. I mean, if you can't do it in June, Miami's July. If you can't do it in June, it's going to be really hard to get it done for, for July. August is D.C., and then right. September, October, and the first weekend in November, you've got Busy. Detroit, Dallas, and Columbus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So probably no Boston at all this year. So, which is too bad. I mean, it was a decent show. Um, I, I had my complaints about the venue, um, primarily just the Wi-Fi uh, extortion that was going on there. But uh, well, um, the hotel room was mm -hmm. tiny. Pendleton had this room that was like the size of a suite. It was, and it was, it was the size a, of our bedroom. Yeah, the I think we had like, no joke. A bedroom that must have been a closet in a former life. It was crazy. I mean, our closet is bigger than that the room. room. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was a good thing we were. Well acquainted. <laughs> it was a very tiny room. Uh, so no Boston show this year, uh, but there is a Baltimore show this year. Oh, so, hey, oh, nice lead in. Oh, my goodness. I know. That was good. Well, right? Let me get the trumpets out for you. Um, so Baltimore, uh, it, a little, diff little different this year. It's at a new hotel. Uh, Bert says that it has uh, room to grow. And okay. he's excited about that. It was a little cheaper and much, 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 did I mention, much easier uh, to get around in. The, now, is this, um, I saw the on the website there's like an aerial view, so it looks like it's more of an open concept kind of thing where you drive up to the front, unpack your stuff, and you can go in, as opposed to going in the parking ramp. Oh, my God. Around the corner. In the, kitchen, in the kitchen, up the service elevator, up two floors, out the back door, through the other back room, through the other side room. It was crazy. Yeah, okay. It was horrible. Um, yeah, no, the, the Tremont Grand was beautiful. Absolutely. Was absolutely beautiful. Uh, it used to be a former Mason's Lodge, and, you know, there were murals on the wall and painted ceilings, and, and the, the rooms were just gorgeous. But it was impossible to find your way. Um, so this is going to be much easier. And Bert says that because of um, the new, what did he call it, the ICC? Some new highway that they've just finished. Um, people from D.C. And, and further south will be able to hop on this and then get on 95, and it's going to be much, much easier and quicker to get there. Oh. So he's actually calling it the Baltimore-Washington Pen Show. You just beat me to it. So, yeah, it's oh. uh, Baltimore. Uh, it is still BaltimorePenshow.com, uh, but it is the Baltimore Washington International Pen Show. So, yep. um, and did you say the name of the hotel? I don't think you did. The Baltimore Marriott Airport, I think. BWI, which okay. I guess stands for Baltimore Washington International, BWI Marriott Hotel in Linthicum, Maryland. Yep. Yeah, he's uh, very excited about the hotel. Apparently, it's got. Uh, quite a lot of room to expand, um, as opposed to the ballrooms in the um, Tremont Grand. They're, they really couldn't expand any much, any any further, because uh, the rooms were self-contained. So apparently, this has a lot of of space to uh, to grow. Awesome. Um, yeah. Let's see. So, uh, other another significant uh, departure from last year. Um, this is a two-day show. 
That is mm -hmm. Saturday and Sunday. Um, no Friday this year. No Friday this year, but uh, Saturday is nice, uh, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., and Sunday 10 to 5. Yep. Um, is what it says. And uh, let's see, what else do we have going on? What is the admission here? Admission costs one day past 10 bucks. Uh, you want to come for two days, it's 15. So, um, uh, well, whoosh, cheap. Yeah, and, and Bert's shows are always great. Uh, I believe he's going to do the um, uh, breakfast for the vendors in the morning. We're on our own for lunch and dinner. Um, but uh, we're going to be getting in Friday yeah. afternoon, which is nice. Yeah. Uh, so we, we actually plan to go see Bert's store. That's going to be fun. I'm, I'm excited. so looking forward to seeing that. Yeah. Um, seeing the gang over there is going to be fun. Uh, okay. I should also mention there is a two-day trader pass in addition uh, which has early admission and full access to the show. Uh, that is $45. Um, so that's going to get you uh, get you in at 8 both days. Um, looks like it's two rooms, so it's going to be... Um, I think it'll be good. Yeah, yeah. Bert, Bert's expecting some pretty good traffic. He said that they've had a lot of... Uh, since it's close to D.C. And, and the highway and all of that, uh, he says that they have done uh, quite a bit of promotion uh, in both some of the big DC papers and in uh, the Baltimore papers. So this could like this could be big. Awesome. Um, before we, we continue on, do we want to do want we want to pop up the trivia question? Yes, I think so. Speaking of pen shows. Speaking of pen shows, okay. Here's a question, and why don't you uh, once again remind our our friends here. Uh, what the prize for the uh, the evening is? A Monteverdi jewelry in either the silver silver carbon fiber or the black carbon fiber option. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. These are great yeah. writers. I think nib choices are like finer medium. Do we have broad as well? Yes, finer medium and silver or black in either one of those. So you've got like I can't even do that much math. I don't know. There's like what is that? Sixteen different combinations. Eight combinations. Eight. Two cube. Four nibs, two bodies. What? Eight. I don't know. It's a lot. <laughs> you got lots of choices. That's what I said, right? Okay, so uh, eight, uh, eight different options. Uh, the the jewelry. Um, here's a question, and uh, email sales, s a l e s at andersonpens.net yeah. uh, with the correct answer. Franny's uh, back. This is okay. We're we're hanging on for Franny. We're going. Yep. Uh, He's back. Is it, is it two part, do you want to do a two-part question? Bonus I think points? Let's just do one with uh, maybe bonus points. Bonus points, props, if you, if you answer the, the, the second part of the question. Okay, here's the question. Uh, let's just make sure that the chat is... Um, Chat's all ready. Are they ready? Okay, here we go. All right, two-part question. Question number one, how many pen shows does... Attending Baltimore this weekend make that I've gone to. How many pen shows have I gone to, including this weekend's Baltimore pen show? And wait, wait, wait! In any capacity. In any capacity. Yeah. Not just as a vendor. Not as a vendor. You. Not as a vendor. Total. Yeah, total. From How the, many from the pen beginning, shows? beginning of time. <laughs> beginning of time. <laughs> Which maybe it's only been 15 years. I don't know. Okay. Um, how many uh, pen shows has Brian been to? How many will will Baltimore make? Yes, including Baltimore. How many pen shows have I been to? And the second part of that question, for bonus points, not required for the answer, yep. but uh, if there is a if there is a tie, uh, um, which there really can't be, um, what was the first pen show that I attended? Ooh, people so. may not get that one. All right, so email sales at andersonpens.net. That's cute. That's really annoying. Isn't that actually. cute? I'm do sorry. That. Stop that. I don't know. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, so let's continue on. Um, so I guess there's are some seminars and stuff in Baltimore. Huh? Uh, there are. We're also going to pick some stuff up there. Are we picking stuff up? What do we pick up? Oh, I didn't tell you about that. <laughs> We <laughs> she's doing it to me again, folks. She's doing it to me again. Uh, we uh, we're taking on a new line, and we're gonna um, pick it up at Baltimore. Okay, what, what would that what would that be? My my, my 
darling love. Hey, you sprung Wall Ever Sharp on me. I didn't really a, spring it on you. I knew we were going to pick up Wall Ever Sharp in L.A. I didn't realize we were going to pick up 45 boxes. boxes. <laughs> and I didn't realize that we were going to pick up all the Monteverdi pens. And, um, yes, Anderson, sales at andersonpens.net for the contest. Uh, I didn't realize we were going to pick up, like, 60 or 72 empty boxes that we had to take out of the boxes and literally cram in little nooks and crannies. Oh my god. Was it 72? <laughs> I think it was. I don't remember. It was like, was it 12 per box? And then there was, okay, so maybe there was 72. Yeah, there were a lot. I think it was 12 per box and there were five or six boxes. So it was either 60 or 72 um, that, quite frankly, we, <laughs> we could barely fit in the car. <laughs> All right, so I'm, I'm looking at answers. Uh, nope. <laughs> no. Oh, come on, people. <laughs> higher. Go higher. One person was really close. Yeah. One person was really close. Let's anyway. keep going. Anyway. Keep going. Keep, uh, keep well, one person had the One person had the bonus question, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> which, yeah. which actually, if you if you listen to enough podcasts, you've got yeah. um, yeah, somebody said four. No way, four. man. We did 14 like, last year alone. Come on, man. Uh, what are you new here? <laughs> <laughs> hey, be nice. I'm, yes, they could I'm be sorry. new. I'm kidding. Uh, we did 14 <laughs> last year, and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bzz, bzz, bzz. All right. Up. So anyway, um, we are taking on a new paper line called Write Notepads. Okay. All right, we, met, uh, we met Chris in D.C. and then uh, met him again, where was he, in Philly. And uh, just a matter of timing. And so now uh, I placed our first order and he's going to deliver it in Baltimore. Okay, well, uh, awesome. I don't know. I, I've seen like one notebook, so I don't know. I haven't even seen. They're cool. Seen they're they're the, nice. He even okay. makes left-handed notebooks. Left-handed notebook. What's a left-handed notebook? Is a coil binding on the other side or what? Yes. Really. It's for left-handers. It's kind of cool. The paper is great. He gave me a, a sample, and I've been using it. I had it in my purse and um, used it, and uh, it's cool stuff. He comes from a, a long line of. Uh, uh, some of his family members have been in the paper business, so he certainly knows his stuff. And it was fun for me in Philly to talk paper and paper weights and coatings and all that papery stuff. So it was kind of fun. Oh, we have a winner. Oh, do we? I haven't we do seen have it. A winner. Oh, hang on. All right. So somebody actually guessed how many shows you go to a year, and they guessed it correctly. How many? How many? I've gone not in a year in total. In total. Right. How many total? Are we going to answer it? Are we going to hang on to it? Oh. Are we going to... Okay. Well, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, so well, we... Let's, we well, well, let's hang on to it a little bit. We're not done with Baltimore, are we? We're not done. We're not done yep. with Baltimore. So let's... Yep. let's we, we do have a winner. We uh, do have a winner, so everybody stop guessing. We're good. Uh, we're good. I think you got uh, both parts of it right, actually. All right, so uh, we also took on something else that's new, but it's not on the website yet. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay. <laughs> Paul will remember this. <laughs> yes, okay. Um, I'm sorry, go ahead. I was going to talk about Conway Stewart. <laughs> okay, all right. Talk about comedy, Stuart. So, Paul, get another, get another surprise Lisa gives to me. Paul, feel free to jump in and and uh, tell the chat how uh, entertaining this was. Oh, uh, Mary Burke was um, bringing some ink over to Susan Worth at the end of Sunday, and um, she, we she and I started talking, and uh, we've we've looked into Conway Stewart before. There there. Are, you know they've been on the radar, but there are like ten other companies as well, and and some other stuff that we have already committed to. Um, and next thing Brian knows, uh, I walk over with Mary, and and we're just chit chatting about um, 
kids and and the show and and all sorts of stuff. Now, now, now I, I have to interrupt here for a second because I, I should mention this is this is just immediately following Brian getting his butt in a sling because uh, he, he has agreed to to take home not only these seventy two boxes of stuff that we got, uh, but in addition. Um, Boxes for for uh, Walt Eversharp pens that we haven't even received yet, uh, to the tune of two large, um, uh, two bins. large bins full of empty boxes. So, which we have no idea how we're going to get in the car. Um, yep. So Lisa just yelled at me for that. Yeah, and then, um, how are we going to fit this stuff? We don't have room. We we literally did have to take. Um, some of the empty boxes and and take them out of the bigger boxes and and literally you know fit them into nooks and crannies. We had them stacked um, at the very end of the um, the hatch and you know they're like very precariously kind of wobbling and we're trying to slam the the back um, and and not have anything fall out. Uh, so. Yeah, I, I was like, I don't know what the you know you think you're doing. There's no way we're gonna fit all this, and so I go chit chat with Mary Burke, and next thing you know, I come back with like sixty bottles of ink. <laughs> yes, sixty <laughs> bottles of ink. Something like that, yeah. So we now have Conway Stewart ink. Um, we'll get it up on the site either maybe this week or um. Probably next week, but uh, we will have samples and we will have uh, bottles at the uh, at the Baltimore show. Uh, are we ready to the Baltimore show? Yeah, I, okay. I already have it packed. Okay. Yeah. Now it is made by Diamine, uh, so it's good ink. Um, so there you go. So now yeah. we're coming so, like, to in, a I should, have taken a, I should have taken a picture of it, right? Because she's got them. She's hanging on to them like this. And I've I've uh, got them. You know. There, there are several boxes stacked uh, kind of up my arms. So I come back and I'm uh, holding them, you know, kind of from my waist up to my chest, and uh, they, they were full. Um, Paul, Paul was nice was enough to, to, to empty the load by to uh, take one off to our hands by, by one. So yep. we really, I think that made all the difference. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, you're gonna have to like carry them on your lap all the way home. Wow, and 46 hours in the car is a long, long. Long yeah, time, so. yeah, uh, but but that was cool. So uh, anyway, uh, let's let's wrap up Baltimore here since we keep going in and out of it. Uh, there are some uh, there are going to be some seminars. Um, Deb Basil is doing a calligraphy workshop again, twenty five dollars, uh, which includes a one day pass to the show. Yep. And you get a, a calligraphy pen uh, after taking the class. That's a two hour seminar. And she does beautiful work. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, I I wish we could take it. You know, I do too. You know, but she tried to offer a couple. Was it last year or the year before in the evening? But we're just dog tired, couldn't do it. I, I don't. I think it ended up not going because I think we would have gone. Yeah. But um, yeah, if she ever offers it again, we're going. Um, Saturday night, um, one of my favorite events of any pen show anywhere, no anytime. God. No uh, God. Led by uh, Gary Garner. And uh, actually, <laughs> you'll be leading up the charge too, won't you? I uh, certainly will be glaring at you from up front, young man. Uh, the Baltimore Washington International Pen Show auction. Da da! So, Steph, you gonna be there? Um, there's some nice, nice pens in here, and uh, and and some of these are these are different, so that's nice. There's yeah. some really, um, there's some interesting pens. A couple of nice Watermans, uh, Parker Depression. Uh, era thrift time pen. You buy it, I'm going to be depressed. Uh, oh. Yeah, I'm not into that. So, <laughs> um, sticker back uh, a couple of Estabrooks, um, a large Saul's pen, wall pens. I mean, just some nice, some nice stuff. Um, I think uh, a Leboeuf uh, ring top in salmon. I just like to hear you say that Leboeuf. Leboeuf is that like Montegrappe? Uh, no, <laughs> you got to really have the accent and. You used to say you liked when I said Montegrappa. You don't anymore? I do, I do. <laughs> you much prefer when I say Leboeuf. No, I like Montegrappa better. <laughs> okay. It's just, you know, know, new. Just, anyway. 
All right. Well, so, that's so cool. uh, yeah. So, so some really interesting. Oh, there's new stuff. They have some roll train pens up here too. Oh, interesting. Oh my God. Yes, um, auction. Yeah. Yes, so auction. Auction. auction is eight o'clock Saturday night. Um, yeah, let's see what else. Anything else? Uh, Deb's doing her, 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 her calligraphy seminar again on Sunday too. So, and Susan mm -hmm. Worth's doing her seminar on Saturday. Yep. Uh, children under thirteen are free at the show. There will be, uh, I believe there will be a PCA table. Um, okay. I have not Janet. heard from Janet and David, but usually they man the Baltimore table. So we'll have some free magazines. We'll do the scavenger hunt for the kids. Um, come on by, pick up a lapel pin, all that good stuff. So, awesome. Yeah. Uh, and that's pretty much it for Baltimore. I mean, it's going to be a good show. I don't, awesome I don't know show. That. Bert puts on a good show. I'm looking forward to seeing the new hotel. It'll be interesting. Uh, I don't know that I have anything on a wish list, which I'm sure what? pleases you pleases you to no end. What? Um, I, I only did get. Right? I only got one pen in, in L. A. Uh, yeah, but did uh, you see the pen you got in L. A. Well, yeah, 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 Big yeah, yeah, monster yeah, yeah. orange. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, other than this, other than this, I only <laughs> bought one for myself. This was a present, right? That doesn't really count. Right. Uh, and okay. the pen I did, even though it had a nib, had a crack nib, so. Um, Hi. No. I know. That's, a, that's probably the least I've ever spent at a pen show. Thank God. <laughs> we didn't have any more room for pens. Oh, okay. So uh, I don't know. Something. Something. We'll see. I don't. I don't have anything on the radar. Okay. I'm just too busy lately to, to think about it. I guess. I know. So what about you? Anything? Uh, what am I looking for? Just the usual. Uh, the I usual. would still like to find a Primavera in. The price range I'm willing to pay. It's not. It's easy to find a primavera. Yeah. It's not easy to find a cheap primavera. Um, some of the the skinny Duponts. I only have what two, so that's not even really a collection. We don't have a collection yet. No, I got to get that. I got to get that. No, no, we we said that last year in Atlanta, and then all of a sudden, poof. Oh, number two it. came, and number two is a killer. Yes, um, yes, I love Peggy. It's a nice, so. nice pet. So. Yeah, so, um, you know, L.A. was just a couple weeks ago, and then Baltimore this weekend, and then two weeks from this coming weekend is Long Island, um, and we're excited about that. We had a great time last year. Yeah, yeah. Long Island means uh, visit to Kenroe. I know, Which I know. I'm excited about. Yep, and um, last year we took a drive around Long Island where... Um, to see the the two houses my parents used to live in, both of them are from Long Island, uh, and we met my friend Michelle for dinner, and that was cool. We hadn't seen each other in like thirty yeah. years, so mm -hmm. acting like so, screaming teenagers. Some guy at your dad's house. <laughs> oh, that was weird. That was weird. <laughs> we go up to the house to go to take, take a, a picture, picture. and sure enough, the owner the owner locks out. Of the house. Out. Yeah, like, that oh, was that's awkward. Yeah, okay. And then really? he invited us in. Like, yeah, I don't like, want to see oh, the house. I don't think so. Yeah, felt like a stalker. <laughs> Um, but uh, so Long Island will be good, and this year uh, apparently they've expanded into the other half of the room that they normally have in the uh, student union. So it's going to be bigger. The tables were a little bit cramped last year. Do so we know anything I'm, about security? I don't know. I don't know. But uh, it was a good show last year, and it will be. Uh, I think it'll be a good show this year. Execlair is one of the sponsors, and so we get to meet some of our reps, and that'll be fun. Awesome. Yeah. And yeah. Ken, Ken Roll's right there, right? So we can. Yes. That'll be great. I, I love love seeing those guys. So. Yeah. So anyway, that's uh, that's that from there. All right. Do we want to announce our winner, or do we want to hold? We do up? want to announce our winner. So when we were talking about Baltimore, and. You know, I'm doing that whining thing about, oh, my God, more shows, and we just got home, and blah, blah, blah. And Brian's like, well, how many have I been to? And so he starts to count. Well, I, then he gets out the calculator. I actually, no, I, I actually have a spreadsheet that lists every pen show that I've been to and every pen show that we have been to. Really? I do. You have a spreadsheet? Um, well, because... I, I would reference what? that in, in I, well, you know, when I when I do blog <laughs> posts about the pen show, yeah, I know it's completely nerdy, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, I do references to, to, to how many shows are, she's laughing. Uh, I do <laughs> references. I have a spreadsheet, yes, with every pen show oh. I've ever been to. Um, oh, honey. And, uh, and, and, and everyone that we've been to is highlighted. Um, there you go. Uh, but anyway, so 
because I know I would say, okay, well, this is, you know, Lisa and R, it's our, our, our third pen show or our fourth pen show together right. or whatever. Uh, so I have Baltimore will make, it's actually, it is a milestone for me. And now, all this being said, we should mention, Lisa has been to far more shows than I. Um, in my 29 years. In her 29 years. Um, yeah. uh, we don't know how many. I could probably go back and figure it out, but more than you. Yeah. More than me, yeah. And so, but anyway, uh, Baltimore makes for me a total, and this is actually a, a nice, would you call this a milestone? This is a milestone. Yeah, it is. This is a milestone. Uh, Baltimore makes for me my 50th pen show. Ta da! Um, Which means we have a winner. We do have a winner. Uh, and the, the bonus question. Um, Your very first pen show. My very was. first pen show was, and, and most people guess Chicago, uh, which is not right. Um, it was my second show. My first show was Miami, because I, at the time I was living in Florida. Right. And I was. It was the the summer before I moved back to Wisconsin. So uh, the winner at fifty is Prane. Go Prane! So let, let me get the clap right there. Yeah. <laughs> um, yep. So, so this will be fifty, which means you cannot buy fifty pens. Well, that's all right. Um, and I think for us, it makes what did it make for us? Thirty-eight. A lot. A lot. I don't remember. I a shouldn't lot. give that away. Someone's gonna write that number down, put it on their monitor, so when we have a. Yep. Well, we did fourteen this. last year. Um, now with. Um, Little Rock the same weekend as Baltimore and no Boston um, and I think we're going to skip Miami this year. That means we are only going to do 11, 11 this, this year. year. God, I feel more relaxed already. Yep. So, but uh, there it is. So, uh, Prane, get in touch with us. Uh, we'll send you an email. Yep. Send us an email. Um, your choices are silver carbon or black carbon with a black uh, or a standard uh, silver steel nib, yep, um, and a finer medium option on it too. So nice pen, uh, nice pen. Nice, nice pen, and we'll we'll try to get that out to you tomorrow, or before we leave anyway. Uh, yeah, it'll go out. We'll get, yeah, we'll leave on Thursday. Um, so awesome, very cool. Yep. Uh, See, some people thought that you had been to more. Yeah, we had. What did we have here? What, what were some of the guesses? And we got, we got a, we had some in the sixties. Uh, you're we getting there. 38, 67. Wayne says 67. Uh, and actually, the first person to guess uh, 69, 150. Wow, holy smokes. Um, uh, Mary mentioned Miami. So yeah. um, she must have heard that somewhere because that was, I mean, almost everyone else was Chicago. Oh, and uh, yeah, we had another one for, for Miami too, the John Shaw. Um, yep. So 175. Wow, holy smokes. Give me 150 by the time I hit that many, over the next year maybe. So, anyway, um, <laughs> Wayne, can I still be a contestant? <laughs> always, Wayne, you're always a contestant. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, um, so uh, you know, that's that's it. We're excited about Baltimore. We're excited about Long Island. I'm really excited about the month off after Long Island. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I'm sort of running in the uh, in the hole with uh, the, the vacation time, so um, it'll be nice to uh, to get caught up there. But um, if anybody's going to Baltimore, boy, I, please stop by and see us. We, we'd really absolutely, love that. That would absolutely. Be nice. uh, Come on by Friday. And yeah, uh, anybody who's around Friday, we're going to get in Friday afternoon. We are going to go see Bertram's Inkwell um, and go see the store and. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do after that. I don't think we'll be able to get into the hotel to uh, set up the grid, which is a little sad. Yes. Uh, I think that we can set up at like 7 or 8, but we're going to have to work fast because the doors open at 10. Yeah, so. well, if we can get in there. I mean, if we're, um, uh, if we're well, well rested, I think we can do it in three hours. And, and with, with the new way that we have everything set up, yeah, it should really, go a little faster. It goes even faster than it used to. So, yep. uh, and by fast we mean we might be able to get it done in three hours. So, well, you know, anybody who shows up, uh, you know, just uh, 
stop on over and it, although it was nice in was it Philly or Baltimore last year Joe Nemechek brought us coffee and well Bertle yeah, had yeah. breakfast uh, Joe, Joe brought it in, uh, in uh, Philly yeah yeah uh, but some some coffee, some breakfast with Bert, that'll be great. And then we just jump into assembling the grid, laying out the paper and the leather and all that good stuff. So I wonder if we could set some of them up in advance. We might be able to. We can we can talk about that off air. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> not like um, we have any extra room in the car to put it set up. What's your point? I don't know. Put it on your lap. That's my story. Oh my! And uh, we're still trying to convince Aziza she should come and uh, hang out. Aziza needs to come and hang out. I'm telling you. Somebody told her. Somebody was telling her that she should have this big ink drinking contest, and if she had it at the store, she'd have 500 and some odd colors. Because we also now have the um, Wall Ever Sharp ink. Yeah. Well, I'm sure which uh, which will be up on the website soon. So there's, there's two yep. more. Yep. And we will have uh, we will have some in Baltimore as well. Yep. Uh, so we now have the Wall Ever Sharp ink that's new, the Conway Stewart ink that's new. So Aziza, we got tons of stuff for you to taste. Yeah, five hundred. What are we up to? Five hundred twelve now. Something like that. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. So. Uh, anyway, that's uh, that's that. Now we do have some new people in the uh, chat, which is fun. Okay. So do my shout outs. Everybody who's new, raise their hand. Uh, uh, you know, we should mention before you do that. Uh, okay. We should mention that last week we, we announced that um, we are our, our, our new Wall EverSharp dealers, uh, and Hello. I happen to have uh, I happen to have the one Skyline Technique model here in the aluminum. Um, I have the Technique and the Classic lines up. Uh, they are on the site. We will have them in Baltimore. Uh, so please stop by our table, check them out. They're, they're just they're beautiful. They're they're well done. Um, I did a short little video on YouTube at the bottom, um, so uh, you can you can check the video out. It's also on the, the page on the website. So that's my my, my this shameless self promotion uh, on the Skyline, and I've been using it. It's a super pen. It's super smooth. It's really really nice. Yeah. Oh, he was gushing about it. Yeah. So it's cool. Nice, so, nice. Anyway. Yep. Uh, so you got some shout outs? We got some I do, I do. Um, we've had a lot of uh, phone calls and emails this week. So um, a shout out to uh, Robert, who's new in the chat. And Robert, I hope that um, everybody was was good to you if you had any questions. Uh, the chat <laughs> the chat's awesome. You guys are so entertaining. It's like half the time I wish I didn't have to talk so I could just play in the chat. Um, <laughs> and uh, so Robert, welcome. And I see Denise, um, who else is new? Mark, uh, our Chase. Let's see, Hugh and Carol, you are not new. You've been around for a long time, and I can't wait to see you guys. That's yeah, going to be a awesome. a couple days, a couple days. Uh, let's see, Charles and Angela. I spoke to Charles today. Angela was on her way out the door. Um, he was looking into uh, different shows to uh, fly to. So I love that people can make it. Um, kind of a destination vacation kind of thing. So, very cool. Uh, Dave and Pete. Brian hates this. Absolutely hates this. Brian's I, I've friends... Been friend, I've been friends with Dave since college. <laughs> D D Dave and I played in, you know, I mean, like, literally uh, freshman music theory class back in, I don't even want to admit how long ago this was, um, Fifty shows ago. <laughs> yeah, well, more than fifty shows ago. Let me tell you that. Um, yeah, Dave and I have been friends a long time. Uh, so Dave and Pete work down the street. Um, oh, it rhymes. Walks into a bar. No, uh, Dave and Pete, our other friend, um, go to lunch often uh, at a little Mexican restaurant in the same plaza as the store. And so they'll walk by the front of the store, which is on the street, and they'll walk by and, and they'll wave. And then about once a week, they'll walk through the plaza to get back to work, and they'll stop in. Um, but every time <laughs> they do, I'm there and Brian's not. Oh, by the way, your friend said hi. <laughs> so a big, uh, big hug to uh, Dave and Pete. And our good friend Mike Kirk. I don't, uh, I don't remember the last time we saw Mike. We had just no, opened the store. He, 
Yeah, he's coming. Yeah, he, we had just opened the store. Uh, I don't know that we had everything moved in yet, did we? Uh, it was a Tuesday. I remember that because we had yeah, a podcast right we, before then. Yeah, uh, we ended uh, yep. the podcast. Uh, Tim wants to know what your bachelor's is in. Uh, my bachelor's degree is in uh, uh, general music with a, a minor in business administration. There you go. And now you own a pen store. And now I own a pen store. <laughs> yeah, I have a, a gra graduate <laughs> degree in, in masters, masters in business administration. Yep. Uh, let's see. We also uh, want to say hi to John uh, here in Appleton. Oh yeah. And, and is, he uh, is he in the chat? Nope, I don't think so. But uh, he he listens to the the podcast. He's he's still catching up on some of that. Uh, we've gotten a bunch of um, letters. I know we're we're way 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 behind on letters, and I'm sorry. <laughs> this whole show thing. <laughs> I need a month off. I think Inko Rimo needs to be in like April. Maybe my Inko Rimo will be in April. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm not going to cut. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, big hugs to Eric and Juan Carlos and Michael Ward. And who else do we have? Uh, I don't know. I, I, Eric is now on Facebook under duress. That's crazy. <laughs> really? So everybody go find him. Um, who else? Uh, Janet and David, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys. Yeah, it's I mean, been a while. Yeah, we, we didn't see, they were they weren't in Philly. They were not in Philly. Uh, no. Which was partly because of the weather. Yeah, okay. So, so well, speaking uh, of weather, I think we're going to be we're going to be clear there, aren't we? Oh, I hope so. I hope so. Uh, otherwise, uh, we'll be what's in between here in Baltimore, like in the middle of Pennsylvania or someplace. Between here and Baltimore, like Ohio. All right. Well, right. I don't know. Yeah, Eddie G. Eddie G. To Eddie totally. G. We, you you had a big part of last week, dude. You and Marianne. His wife is beautiful. Eddie, you so scored. She's awesome. Anyway, just saying. We we got to know Marianne much better, so that was fun. Um, yeah, she's cool. I don't know. That's it. We, uh, we've just had a, a busy week and a half getting back, recovering from L.A. Um, I was on call. <laughs> yeah, Brian was on call, so, you know, he's I getting called. I got a call the first, the first morning uh, after that we rough. got back. Um, well, that was three, just last week. Yeah, it was, in three in the morning. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, we got back a week ago today, and now we're packing up for another show. That's just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you know we need we need roadies. Roadies. I want roadies, big buff guys. What? To load all the ink. Just saying. Right. Ladies, right. wouldn't you love pen show roadies? I'm, Aziza, I'm, help me I'm, out here. Just, Tracy. Just here. You can just <laughs> keep flapping. There you go. So anyway, we will have some of the new stuff in Baltimore and in Long Island. Uh, I think we're going to pick more of the uh, our second batch of Skylines up in the next month, right? Uh, yeah, pretty soon. So we're going to have even weeks. more. Yeah, everything will be great. It'll be good. Okay. Very good. good. That's uh, it. What else? Anything else? Is that it? That's it. We need uh, to go pack and yeah. stuff. And, uh, thanks for listening. Everybody. Thanks for um, taking part in, the, uh, in our little impromptu... Uh, Giveaway that we decided on what last night. <laughs> well, it, it was kind of a milestone, and so we figured we'd give something away. And uh, you know, I love to give away stuff. We'll be doing free shipping one of these days too. One of these days. Well, yep. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We will. Um, all right. Uh, comment, suggestions for topics. Use your pens in, if they're pretty like this. Use them too. Uh, Anderson Pens, P.O. Box seven three two, Appleton, Wisconsin five four nine one two. Or at the store, it's 10 East College Ave, Suite 112A, Appleton, Wisconsin, 54911. Catch us online, email brian at andersonpens.net. Or send an email to me at lisa at andersonpens.net. You can follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash andersonpens. The um, Facebook page is facebook.com slash andersonpens. The blog, of course, you know is blog.andersonpens.net. And the website, andersonpens.net. Check it out.
Uh, join our mailing list for advanced notice of upcoming events, new products, special sales, stuff going on at the store. Thanks for listening to your podcast. Hope to see you all in Baltimore. If not, we will see you next week. Or in Long Island. Or in Long Island. <laughs> Good night, all. Somewhere. Night, everybody. <laughs>